Okay, guys. Uh, I got. A, I had this around, but I, I you know, just uh, haven't used it until now. And now I'm thinking, you know, it's. Uh, I've gone with. Uh, this is a little probe scope from Radio Shack. Right now, it's showing uh, the output coil on the Aura Bon Bon, uh, the green wire. Um, we're seeing, you know, flat line and then a pulse up and then a pulse down. Um, we got just my battery here. I got a little LED with a switch, some capacitors. We run power over here. I have a variable resistor for frequency. This is a timing cap. I'm going to change all this around. This is I just got this set up really and playing with it. Uh, this is IRF Z44 MOSFET. Um, I thought I was having a problem with my bridge rectifier, so I made a new one. Uh, it seems to be the same. Uh, that's about the only difference. And on the output, we're running through the bridge to a 1,000 microfarad cap and a 100 ohm resistor. Uh, and we have 2.5 volts on that load. Um, right now, let's see. This is the waveform on the output coil directly. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Hopefully good. Trying to find focus point. Now, an important thing is you see where it goes positive and it goes negative. Now, I'm going to take these magnets out. You can actually hear it buzzing. I'm going to flip it around. sitting in the center there. And look what happens to our output. The switch is phased. So it's doing as I suspect. Um, it's causing an AC current in the output coil according to the polarity of the magnets. So the flux is going into this core when it's not energized. And then when you energize it goes to the outer core. Yeah, this little thing is working pretty good. At least gives me something until I decide on what scope I want. I, I want to make a good choice on whatever money I spend. There's some nice scopes on eBay. But either way, uh, I've got shorter on pulses. I, I rigged this up uh, where this one resistor, you put another resistor and a diode in series across this and you can shorten or lengthen the on pulses. And so I did that. Um, it's a 556 five, timer. Uh, I've got a little LED over here with a switch on that. Just a little bit of changes. Um, but another little proof of uh, how it's working here. You reverse those magnets and the phase of that changes. Let's watch it as we pull them out. We're going to pull them out. Okay, it's not triggering now because there's not enough coming out. We'll flip it around. Go the other way. And we're back to positive and negative pulse. So, it looks like what I have to do is shorten up my frequency so that we just have that type of on and off pulse that size there so I gotta get rid of this gap in between here so I'm gonna fiddle with it I, I gotta design the circuit so I can just have uh, two controls one for pulse width one for uh, the actual frequency that we're running at um, the frequency is kind of low. Let's see if we can switch this to hertz. And let's see. Um, that's not correct. Let's see. 
I take it right off of the chip here. Six hundred hertz. Um, put these back on the output. We're not measuring anything. We got a resistor and a capacitor, there, which kind of deadens it. Um, actually, we can look at our duty cycle. It should be lower than fifty percent. Yeah, that's our duty cycle of 30% on. And, okay, we'll put this back to voltage. Back to 2.4 volts. But, yeah, this little uh, probe scope does okay for these lower frequencies. I'm, I can go quite a bit higher. I mean, I, I really need to find out where the range of this thing works. By the looks of that right there, for how much, uh, if this is the turn on, uh, if we lengthen that just a little bit, maybe it'll be equal to the turn off pulse here. And then if we get rid of that, so uh, probably up in the 1k area 1.3k 1.5k we should be able to fill that in and uh, I hope I can s hope the camera picks this up and do it one more time we're going to flip the magnets out turn them the other way you can see the phase reversal And uh, let's pop one of these big caps in here, higher voltage. We're going to take the 1,000 out and take off the load resistor. And we're at 33 volts. Just straight capacitor, no load. Oh, something happened with our... Let me see. Change the time base. That's showing a lot different now that I took out that resistor. Oh, here we go. So we have a positive, negative, and a negative. Maybe it's not showing that particular. Let me try adjusting something here. It's possible that this uh, scope is just no good for all this stuff. Oh, there we go. We got some positive showing up there. Okay, now let's go back to this other one, and then we're running out of time. Okay. Adjust this. Click it one more time. Okay, that's showing one complete wave. Alright guys, running out of time, but just wanted to show you that. Or Bon Bon. These are some of my notes. Just to make up my circuit. Alright, later.